the next morning. By sheer coincidence. A few moments later challenges are. We stand by eco-friendly environment by using only online approaches which will consume less papers. A business model canvas will provide a clear structure to our business plan. Further down the video, we will be discussing nine key components of a business model canvas. first component that I'm going to talk about is customer segment. Customer segments define the group of people or organizations that we aim to reach or serve. It is the most important component in a business model canvas. In our business, post TP, we targeted the university students and also the staff as our important customers. They share the same problems such as lack of time to collect the parcels outside the campus. And there is no other career service in the campus except the Pusaju. Sometimes we also serve the outsiders that stay near to the campus. The customer segments were then related to the value, value of proposition. proposition. Value proposition is features intended to make a company or product attractive. We came out idea to solve the problem by doing door-to-door -door delivery. This means we deliver the product to in front of your doorstep. Next, we promise to keep efficiency in delivery by using Google Form so that we know when they are available. Plus, we avoid tipping to increase the transparency of our product. Moving on, the next point is distribution channel. Distribution channel can be defined as the medium we use to reach our targeted customer. In our business, we plan to fully utilize the social media like using WhatsApp for customer service uh, in order to uh, serve delivery, uh, taking orders and to notify distribution customer. Distribution channel can be defined as the media we use to reach our targeted customer. In our business, we plan to fully utilize in social media like WhatsApp for customer service, taking orders and delivery notification. Then, we also plan to use internet to be our own website so uh, we so to make our service is more convenient to the customer. After that, we also use storeroom to keep all customer packages and use trans uh, transport like car and motorcycle to deliver the packages door to door. Customer relationship. 
Customer relationship dictates how an organization is developing a relationship with its various customer segment. Since the target is student, lecturers and staff, we selected personal assistant as a method to approach it. This can help them communicate with our workers personally for any inquiries at 24-7. This is more like a friendly approach method. We also decided to use customer service, creating a membership and implementing an online tracking system as a way to connect them easily. With this, trust will be gained among the customer and slowly we can develop a trusted brand company. Next, one of the building blocks of business model canvas is revenue stream. Where revenue stream is the way to generate the profits. The mainstream of post to generate the revenue is pay per delivery. Customers are required to pay for each delivery service. Next, surcharge will be added on the total bill if the customers fail to respond to our company after two weeks the parcels will arrive. We also provided the rental fees, rental service to the customers that are not available to collect the parcels for a certain period. Besides that, customer can choose the premium delivery by adding extra charge to have a faster delivery service. Key activities. Our first key activity is system development. As the business progress, we will face some problem during the delivery process. To solve this, we will keep developing a better delivery system and come up with the best arrangement for our customers. Next key activities is website development. We aim to go paperless by using online approach such as website and possibly in the future, mobile application. To achieve this, we will have to come up with user-friendly website to make it easy for our customers to place orders. The third key activity is marketing. We first need to establish our name and let people know about our service. For a startup business like us, this can be done by advertising using social media which requires less resource but generate many benefits for us. The second one is financial resource. This is very important to our business as we will need a source of money at least until our business is profitable and self-sustaining. This can be done by applying for business scheme available for startup business like us. The last key resource of our business is manpower. To conduct our business, we need a runner who have access and the knowledge of UTP's accommodation location. Therefore, we plan on working with students of UTP themselves as our runner. For key partnership, the first collaboration we are planning to do is with UTP management. UTP management will provide us skills and training to enhance our management skills. In return, we provide a better facilities for UTP students to access our postal service in campus itself. Moving on to the next collaboration, we are also planning to collaborate with UTP Techno Partnership in order to strengthen our financial support to start up our uh, own storerooms. Next, we plan to join venture with current local postal service such as GDEX, Postlachu and other postal services so that we can gain access on customers' items without any legal issues. Thank you. Last but not least is cost structure. Cost structure is defined as a management accounting concept where this business incur all costs and expenses needed to operate it. This will relate to three other building blocks which are key resources, key activities and key partnerships. We have listed a few things needed to consider it. This can be divided into fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are expenses that remain the same regardless of the situation. Examples for this are monthly salaries to employees, renting a storeroom and vehicles. Variable costs are tangible expenses depending on the situation. A great example for this would be transportation costs, 
it means that more order, more delivery, and more expenses to pay in the field. Before starting all of this, we have to create an app and website where it provides booking order system, review, and feedback section. And this can follow like Lazada. In conclusion, PostDB will be a platform for students to access their items or parcels which is out of their reach. In this business model canvas, we managed to acknowledge the problems and also create a solution for each of the challenges we face in order to save, serve our customer with better service. With that, thank you for watching our video and please, please support, support us. us. Best regards, PostDB.